Right, so let's do this question here. They say write down domain of other multiplied by x without face calculate. They don't want you to calculate other times x in the fine domain. They just want you to work it out without calculating this. Like they don't want you to say, let me take this one, multiply with this, and then finally look how my function looks like, and then get a mind where the domain is. Pa -pa -da -pa -da -pa -da -pa -da -pa they don't want you to do this, so they want you to do straight, uh, straight, straight away. Let me show you now how you can break down uh, without uh, calculating other times x or what. So look, man, this is very easy. See, <laughs> so how are we gonna solve this? So we say, first of all, for you to get domain of other times h, what does that mean, face? If somebody say domain of other multiplied by h, this is same as say domain of other. Let's say to say domain of other intersection. Domain of L. See what I'm saying? Uh, that when you say domain R times L means domain of R intersection domain of L. Man, what does that mean? You say intersection. Look, the intersection is easy. For example, if you're trying to hard, let's say trying to have the one, two, three, and four, and B, and we're bound to hard to these are elements. Means the contains the elements of members or elements of trying and it we're bound to has an element of 2, 4, B, A, and 80. So when you say in a set, means you want to see which elements are common in both in Trana and Wabantu. Okay, let's see. 1. No, there's no 1 here, so that's not common. 2. Yes, 2 is common. And another one, we got 4 and you got 4. So all these other elements, or oh, we got B and B. So these three elements, which are common in both in Trana and Wabantu, these one we call them intersect, where the intersect means they have in common. So I'm trying to, it has something common. This we call intersect. It, it intersect or they share the same uh, elements with your Ubuntu. Which are elements of those? Two, four, and B. So that's how you say I'm trying to intersection W. So when you say uh, intersection means something uh, which uh, occurred in both uh, two two members, but those elements, they have to be common, so we call they intersect, means intersection, means they have in common, for example, me and you guys are watching TV, we intersect here in the channel, I'm trying to on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, so that's what we intersect, so I'm trying to bantu, and you guys are watching this lesson, means we intersect right now on YouTube, when you're watching, so that's our intersection, so, so now we say, excuse me, I'm going to raise this, so when you say D multiplied by L, meaning the domain of other in a set with domain of L. That's our way of saying. Okay, so for that case, that if I know domain of other and domain of L, and I'll check where do they intersect, just like I get here, I'm trying to go back to. So let's go now. I'm going to say, okay, let me find the domain of other. So domain of other, let me look my other. So my other is the exponential function. Exponential function, every element, all renumber, all the, all the member works here in exponential function. If you plug any number, it's going to work. For example, put negative 1, negative 2, any number when you plug it, let's say x equal to 1. Plug here 1 and 1, it's going to work. Put plug in the calculator. Even if you put negative 1, negative 2, even if you say half, if you put half here and half there, it's going to work. So all the number works. So for that case, domain of exponential and exponential function are already number. But for this case, you know what I'm saying? It's already number for this case. So domain of r equal to real number. Now we want to go and get the domain of r. So domain of L, this now, this is another case now, let me explain to you quick. Better, better part. Notes. This is better part, man. Keep your eyes wide open. Listen to me, this is very important. We have checked before, if somebody give me, let's say, this is G of X, and you have a square root of anything. We check before, we say, uh, we never have anything in the middle here. This one, any element, so any number, it has to be greater than zero. Either zero greater than zero. Means if you plug here zero, let's say square root of zero, it's gonna give a number equal to zero. Let's put one. If you put one here, it's gonna work. Put two here, plug in two, it's gonna work. Plug in the calculator, it's gonna work. If so, any number zero or greater than zero is gonna work if you have a root. Okay. But when you have a negative, term is not gonna work. See, so we never have a square root. Any number which is in here, for example, somebody give me x minus one. So Whatever is in here means x minus it has to be greater or equal to zero. And then we take over, so x is greater or equal to one. So that's how you get the domain of this function. So we're gonna say domain of g 
x are element of real number means x element of any number element real, but about that x it has to be greater than one but how do you get it i have to start by say anything which is in here has to be greater than zero so this x is greater than one it's just a result i'm going to say result or calculation after uh, so this is a condition very important like make sure whatever you have inside the root inside the root has to be greater or equal to zero you know what i'm saying so now look just let me use out a pen here this is very very important man so now this is very important man when you have a root at the denominator is another sorry now for example if somebody give me let's say uh, x minus one and they give me square root of anything let's say x minus three let's say even two x minus eight let's say and this is g of x when this function is going to be defined so whenever you have a square root at the denominator man, listen this is very important man don't say me like oh i didn't uh, listen there careful i didn't get it listen man whenever you have a square root at the denominator you see here this square root was just numerator let's say uh k of x it's just a numerator oh some people don't know probably what is numerator numerator is something for example if you have a over b the top number if you have a ratio number is numerator and this is denominator. This is called numerator. And this is denominator. You know what I'm saying? So now, whenever you have a function, this is a function here. But that function has a square root at the denominator. So the condition is not going to be the same as when it's at the numerator like here. So the condition, when it's this situation, always say, whatever is in here, it has to be greater. Not equal. You see here? When it was numerator, we say greater or equal, but when is that a denominator? Say whatever is a denominator, but for this case, it's 2x minus 8. So what is the in denominator? Whatever is in the root in the denominator, it just has to be greater than zero. Don't say greater or equal. If it's at the denominator, hey man, listen, this is very, very important, right? When is that the denominator? All right, so for that case, then we're going to say, okay, go over, so 2x. Uh, greater or uh, greater and then go up it's going to be 8 divided by 2 divided by 2 so x cancel cancel x is equal to greater so greater than 4 so just remember when root is at the denominator you say whatever is in a root it has to be greater than 0 you see what i'm saying so let's taste but so you got the answer right you can taste now and see what happened for example let me give you vivid example another example right let's taste now a number it has to be greater than 4 let's taste to see so you're gonna to have to take everything in the, inside the root, it has to be greater than zero. And then you work it out, get an answer. Let's taste and see if it's true. Now let's go. We say it has to be greater than four. So five, look. So if you plug x equal to five, because greater than four means five, six, eight, nine, ten. This is gonna work. Let's taste now. Put five here. Whenever there's x five, it's gonna be five. Five minus one equals four. So this is gonna be equal to four over. Okay, five. Five times two is ten. Ten minus eight equals two. Square root of three is gonna work. 6, also 6 is going to work. Look, plug in. It's going to be 6. 6 minus 1 equals 5. Over. Okay, x equals 6. 6 times 2, 12. 12 minus 8 equals 2. 4 squared. It's going to work. Go to 2. See, it's going to work. So now let's test because it has to be greater than 4. Let's test now when it's equal to 4 or less, which you know is not going to work. But it's just a test analysis, right? Let's test now and see. Excuse me. Let's take a 4 itself because it has to be either greater it has to be greater than four let's take four itself if we say four look this is going to be four minus one and there's going to be square root four times two eight eight minus eight equal to zero so look this is going to be equal to three over square root of zero so this is equal to three over zero but whenever you have a zero at the denominator it doesn't exist it's undefined there's no such a thing for example i'm going to give you an example right Okay, you, uh, how am I going to say, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, you have a car, you have a bicycle, or you're walking, and then there's no ground. What happened means, if there's no ground, how are you going to walk? You can walk. So, if you have a zero at the denominator, means it does not exist. So, I'm saying, if your house, there's no floor at the bottom. See, how your house is going to exist, it can't exist. So, that's why whenever you have a zero at the bottom, means there's no floor, means zero. So, uh, there's no tire for my car, means it's zero. Right? So, I mean, there's no ground for, uh, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, whenever have a zero at the bottom means when zero does not, means everything is going to be undefined. So, for that case, now, we see, oh, it's true. If you take anything which is either four or less, now, it does not work. So, it has to be greater than four. So, this one I have tested with a four. You see, it didn't work. Let's take 
three, which you know is not going to work because you have saying has to be greater than four. Three, put three here, it's going to be three because x equals to three. Let's assume x equals to three. Three minus one equals to two over three times two, six. Six minus uh, eight, negative two. It can work because we don't have square root of negative two. So it's undefined. See what I'm saying? But now, don't waste your time when you start to solve now. Don't waste a lot of time thinking, which number? Let me try five. Let me try six. Man, you're going to waste a lot of time. Right? What you should do, say, this root is at the denominator. If this root at the denominator, whatever is inside the root, it has to be greater than zero. But if it's at the numerator, like here, it has to be at the right, So now let's solve the question, right? So you have an sort of the concept, so all the concepts, let's solve the question. This is easy, man. So let's go and solve it. Okay, so let's say uh, write down, find d r times l. So this meaning the domain of r in a session, domain of l. So this is easy, man. So that, what that means, you have to know domain of R and domain of R then intersect together. So what is domain of R? Domain of R, for this case, what is R? R is uh, exponential function. So for exponential function, you know, all the value has to be real numbers. So exponential uh, function, all the element of X is going to work. Any number you plug here is going to work. It is negative or positive, it's going to work. But for this case, for the second one, it's a different story, just like I explained recently. So, oh, our denominator is at the, excuse me, our root is at the denominator. So if our root, our root is at the denominator, then our oh, problem solved. So now we never have a root at the denominator. So I'm going to say domain now. Domain of what? Domain of L. Is X has to be element of real number, but if it's at the denominator, whatever is at the denominator, what is the denominator for this case? Just X on this one here. But whatever you find there, you plug it in here. It has to be greater than zero. That's all. Done. So the equation they didn't ask me to find uh, domain of R and domain of R separately. The one domain of R in a sec, domain of R. So it's okay. Domain of R in section R, which is domain of R in a sec, domain of R. Meaning, if I pull this together, you know what I'm So what that means, look here, man. This is easy. When you say all element of uh, real number means every element. But look, let me let me write here. So domain of R means everything, all the element. But domain of L is start from x greater than zero. Means also only start from when x is greater than zero. What that means? It means it's from one to oh no, let's say zero point two one, zero point two one, two three four. So where are they gonna intersect? If domain of R is all the element, mean from negative to all the negative infinity, uh, negative five, negative one thousand to zero, and they want to. So where are they gonna intersect? The only place where we're going to have something common is here. Common means when x is greater than 0. Because here, no, this one doesn't have x less than 0. So the only part or the element they're going to have in common is because this r is going to have everything. But l is going to have only x is greater than 0. See what I'm saying? So where they're going to have something common, where they're going to intersect? Here, when x is greater than 0. So for that case, now we say, okay. So domain of R in section D R where they're going to intersect is X are element of real number because the elements has to be real number whereby X has to be greater than zero and done. Thank for your time and that's how you get it. Oh, that's for your sake of time. I appreciate it. you have an equation. Please, if you think this video was very helpful, don't forget to leave a comment. Please leave a comment, you know, so I know what you guys have a problem or even if you chose helpful, just say, hey man, thanks a lot. I'm trying to bond and so so. Don't forget to leave a comment, man. Click the like button and make sure you share with other people. So that we can continue to support other people who are in need for this education journey. Thanks, man. I appreciate your time.